Hello, good morning. You join me from my bedroom in Italy and today it's Sunday. So I thought that I've got nothing else to do so that I might go and have a little walk around Rome. Now, I've never been to Rome, it's the first time going. I've seen how to get there, so I've just got to get a train. It takes about half an hour and I'm in the center of Rome. So I'm really, really excited. I'm obviously not gonna see all of Rome. I've got nine months to see it all. So I just literally wanna just go relax, spend the day there, have a little walk around, have some lunch. So I'm gonna take you with me. And this might be the start of my Italian vlogs. So I don't know whether to do like weekly vlogs or what. So this might be just one day, it might be a week, I don't know yet. So I'm gonna take you with me and I'm so excited to see Rome and yeah. That's it, I think I'm gonna leave in about 10 minutes. It takes me 15 minutes to get to, get to the train station and then a half an hour train ride and it's only two euros. So I think I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in Rome. Oh, I need to do my hair. Okay, I am on the train. That was probably the most awkward I have felt in a long time. <laughs> um, the train station didn't have any people working in it. We just literally didn't even buy a ticket there. You have to buy it online. Um, then like everyone was just like crossing the railway um, lines like on the like lines not going under the tunnel um, which was weird and I just really felt awkward and did not feel safe which is the first time in a long time that I felt like that I think it's also because I'm alone um, but yeah I'm on the train I've now got half an hour till I get to Rome um, it's all very safe, it's all, it's all, it's all like um, lines where you can and can't walk, there's entrance doors and exit doors so people can't go in and come out in the same place, so I don't know, we will see how it goes, I think as soon as I get that I am going to go get some lunch and then have a walk around, then get the train back, this is basically just to get my bearings and then once I'm not like used to it, then I'll go and travel a bit more and hopefully I'll know people and be able to go with them people too. Now it's just little old me, which is fine because I do like um, seeing my own stuff because you do what you want to do. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to spend hours and hours there because I've got <laughs> no one to talk to. So we'll see how it goes. That was a weird experience. I'm hoping it will get better. Rome is so big like being lost is an understatement right now I don't know where I'm going I'm having a little walk <laughs> to be honest I don't really mind where I'm going because I'm gonna be coming back it's not like I need to <clears throat> like sightsee everything but hey ho hope I actually see something apart from this see you which is fine so if I'm pulling faces because I cannot see the thing um, so I've just been to see like this kind of churchy thing and I'm on the way to see the Colosseum I think that's what I'm gonna see today just because I'm on my own it's easier um, just having a little look around getting my getting the feelings for the place um, so yeah I'm just gonna go to the Colosseum I think and then probably back. I'm actually really fancying a walk around the turn left on two via de quattro Pintoni. Because uh, that was my GPS. Um, can you see that? Um, because there were so many shops, that place was unreal. It's like a pretty airport. So yeah. I 
just to sit down and have a little chat with you. It's now nearly five o'clock. My train is leaving at 20 past six. So I'm just gonna go back to the station. There's loads of like shops there and stuff. So I'm gonna have a look around the shops. Maybe just sit down and have a drink. It's absolutely boiling. Now at Rome, everything seems to be everywhere. Like it takes so long to get from one place to another that the heat just does not help. So I've only seen what you'll have seen in the videos and I just can't do anymore. <laughs> I think also the fact that I'm alone doesn't help. So hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll be able to come back with people that I've met and have a better look around. But anyway, when I get home, I'll give you a great, a better update. I actually need the loo right now, <laughs> TMI. But it's just too hot. Hello, it's world's worst vlogger here. And I thought I'd just give you a quick update. I am back um, home, as you can tell. It is around 7 p.m. <laughs> now, the trains only went and left for him every two hours. And the last um, bit I vlogged, um, I missed the train by about five, ten minutes, and I wasn't going for that train. But if I'd been a bit quicker, I'd have got that train. I had to wait two hours for the next train so i sat i had a mini like sunday from mcdonald's because i didn't know where to sit and then i had a walk around i did buy a couple of things in a couple of the shops now most of the shops were like victoria's secret pandora um really expensive shops where i wasn't really gonna buy in um but yeah i will show you i'll do a mini mini haul of what i bought in rome train station but yeah i just wanted to update you that Going to Rome alone and in this heat was not a good idea. Now, as soon as I got home, I was put into two different um, WhatsApp groups, one with the au pairs that are in Rome and one with Erasmus students that want to travel around Rome in the weekends. So for the next time I go, I will hopefully, fingers crossed, have people to go with and will not be on my own. But yeah, I was just walking around. I went to the Colosseum. I loved it. It was gorgeous. But I just got a splitting headache, which I still have, from um, the sun, the heat, basically. And I was getting really stressed out because, obviously, it's a massive city. There was a lot of homeless people. There were a lot of, like, people trying to sell, uh, sell you things. Just, I don't know, quite dodgy streets, people, and being alone wasn't the best idea. So, yeah. Hopefully next time I look like Alvin the Chipmunk when I do this. Hopefully next time I will have someone to go with. Um, my family are like the kindest people. They're trying to like introduce me to loads of new people. So this next weekend and like some more weekends. Um, later they're introducing me to like people my age, some new old pairs that are coming. And hopefully now these two groups that I've got on WhatsApp will also help me out a bit to meet some new people. And yeah, just be able to travel with people not only around rome i mean around rome for now but eventually like i was looking in like the departure list of all of the trains and they just went everywhere so uh, maybe i could plan a couple of weekends and if people want to come along then great so we will see so mini haul time and i'm sorry for this angle but i don't know where to put you the funnest haul you're ever gonna see I went and bought some plasters because my feet were killing me now I decided to, to put on some new trainers. Again, not a good idea. So I've got about three blisters. So I needed some uh, plasters and it says two plus one. So you buy two things and you get one for free. It's like three for two. I also bought this which is called another knife and it is to help you sleep better and help your quality of sleep. Now, the last couple of nights that I've been here, ever since I've got here, basically, I've not had the best sleep. Um, I, I didn't really tell you this either, but, um, yeah, I think I've been working, waking up really early, but I've also been waking up, like, at 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and not being able to get back to sleep. I don't know if it's just a change of where I am, the bed, I really don't know. So, this has about 16... Um, tablets in so it'll do for just over two weeks and hopefully then I'll be sleeping all right 
say I bought plasters fun. <laughs> also I'm in my pajamas like I got home and I was just so hot and just mm, I just want to be comfy so the next shop I went was Tiger and I got some googly eyes for the kids because we've been making animals and like anything we can make really but they've been dry, drawing the eyes on it's a bit of a mistake so got some googly eyes and I also bought this which I thought was really cute and it's like a, a weekly planner so it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday up until Sunday with all different colours and I'm planning to every day basically just kind of like grade the kids so if they did well give them a sticker blah 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 and also write um, maybe at the start of every week or month a different like monthly plan so Monday we're going to do at 5 o'clock um, English, 6 o'clock cooking stuff like that so I got that which was 1 euro and the googly eyes were 1 euro as well I think yeah and finally I went into Lush now yesterday I did actually do the um detox day which was the 5th of september i um didn't go on um, any social media and they did have the bath bomb in there and i really wanted to get it but i don't have a bath so instead of getting a bath bomb i got the next best thing which was a shower bomb and it's the not sleepy shower bomb because I'm not sleeping a lot in the mornings and during the day I'm really really tired so maybe a not sleepy shower bomb one day when I need it can just wake me up and, oh, so you just love everything in Lush and it's a lime lemon and lime flavour so oh it smells amazing and this was 3 euros 50 which I thought was really good and then I was just looking around all their products and this one caught my eye it's the breath of fresh air um Aqua di vita, aqua di vita, <laughs> vital water, life water, um, and it's ton face tonic. So it just says to spray this on after your normal like morning routine. So after you've washed your face and everything, and it just brightens you up and wakes you up. And I need that in life. 